is a civil rights clinic that focuses on bridging the gap between community stakeholders and community members to uplift the African American community and underserved communities. Want, um, you know, to kind of follow the process. Advocacy and community outreach. We hosted two town hall meetings. It is amazing because you almost don't feel like a student because this is real life. I work with education and the public school system, I'm able to work with the Minneapolis School Board and make sure that the community voice is being conveyed. Good afternoon, board. My name is Leslie Redmond. I am the education chair of the Minneapolis NAACP. The Community Justice Project in St. Thomas has had me realize that I don't want to be the voice of the voiceless. I just want to help the voiceless get a voice. This is why we need to see the statistics. I urge you all to go and look at the statistics. Through the Community Justice Project and also my internship at the Department of Human Services, it's helped me to realize that policy is extremely important. Being on the ground is great, but changing just one school or one place is not as impactful as I would like for it to be. Leslie Redmond is a student at University of St. Thomas School of Law and president of the Black Law Student Association. I ended up doing an interview with Democracy Now. We welcome you to Democracy Now. I was able to give eyewitness testimony. Two nights ago, I came out. Everything was fine. People were socializing. Puts the pressure on, and you really understand the severity of the issues at hand. A lot of people have good mission statements, but I realized that through the Community Justice Project, they were actively producing social justice in the community. And it creates law school students that are morally responsible and making sure that they're well equipped to work in the future and help the community.